drugs, heavy with drugs, so it's I'm telling you, I feel bad bad. when we got in in the morning just talking about like this is the 50 day we break out. And we got it, let's go. Easier. So what's up guys? The snipers are in action tonight. Thanks for joining us. We're gonna go over a quick trade recap and we'll go ahead and dive right into it of the trade we made earlier this week at TTCM. Got the squad here with me. Sniper Al, Sniper Mike. Let's go. Get it. You guys ready? Stock money. Dive in. Alright, let's do it. Trade here is very possible. Awesome. Awesome lesson. All right, so we'll dive right in. So again, guys, this is TTCM. It was an OTC play, and it was an $892 win. So jump right into the action. We'll give you a little bit of preview. This is the play right when we got in. As you can see, we got in at .0084, and it's trading right above that. It's holding that .0084, it's trading right above it. But we wanted to zoom out first to the one year chart to give a look at where it's approaching. So here's a quick breakdown of TTC. Yeah, so, you know, this is a breakout. This is one of the stocks that, you know, when we started, this is what we were making our money on when we had a small account. And, you know, this is a trade that we love to play. Um, and, you know, we saw it right away. It came on the radar in the morning. It was a big gainer. Um, and we knew it had the possibility of breaking out. Um, and it was, it was on the radar. We watched it all day. And, um, you know, we had a good feeling of how the stock was, you know, was going to move. And we had a, a, enough time to make a plan for it. So, um you know, we'll, we'll go through it as we as we walk through it, but um, it, it was basically a breakout play. You know, it's not breaking not only the highest of the days, it's, you know, at 3 p.m. during power hour, which is what we love to play, and it's breaking multi-month resistance levels. So, you know, all the stars are aligning, and this is a play that, you know, has a really high success rate um, that we'll play you know, over and over again. Um, and yeah, it'll, it'll be awesome to walk through this one. For a smaller account, this is perfect to grow it. This is a small, literally a penny stock. So this is a sub penny that's turned into a penny. Something that can excel a small account if you're great at cutting losses. So this is something that definitely should uh, tone in if you're under that PDT rule. So this is it right here. We, we got an 0084. Oh, well. Boom, here we go. Here we go. All yeah. right. Back in <laughs> and yeah. it's 3.30, it's 3.30 PM, power hour, exactly what we like. And it's breaking the highs of the day. So, and you can, as you can see, it's very active. It's bringing in a lot of buyers. Um, and that this is now the, the two day, two minute chart. So each candle is two minutes. Um, and it's nice. We just bought it on that break, the high day break. You can see the clear support at 08 um, or 079. Um, and 0079. 007. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sub penny, sorry. But yeah. about to be a penny in a second here. Um, Crazy. And now, and now it's approaching the high again. And the high here is actually a, a key spot because it's that multi-month breakout. And look, now it just made a new high here, 341. Yeah, this is just all, it, it all lines up here. And now we know, this is what we, nice we thought could happen when, when it had that morning spike. We thought, hey, maybe this could make that move to the 52-week breakout today. And if it does, it's going to happen at 3 p.m. And, that's and exactly, here's the test. Here it is. It, it, it goes all the way to a cent, straight to a cent. Not many nice. sellers. Um, Break boom, right through we're breaking it. a penny. It's amazing. That's twenty five percent right there. On, Instantly, you know, and this is fifteen minutes, not even fourteen, fifteen minutes. So when you see that, you try to take the bag. Yeah, we put a limit in here. We uh, we were gonna take the whole bag because it was actually an amazing push. Yeah, it was an ideal push. Yeah, exactly. It was it was definitely it was a little bit better than we thought. So if this could have got to that spot of point zero one zero nine. We would have took the bag for sure. Yeah. It, I mean, we got in the play just, uh, it was 16 minutes ago. Yeah, we wanted to take some no matter what here, but, you know, at this point, we're like, all right, well, it's kind of hanging around. Yeah, yeah, look, that's where we sold half. So it didn't, it actually, you know, we were like, you know what, screw it. Since it didn't hit that, let's just go ahead and secure half. So we secured half the bag, and now we're just letting the rest ride out. Ideally, it holds that one spot. We wanted to see it hold that one, hold it overnight, and that's. That was the goal, so let's see what happens here. Yeah, so we made like 23% on the half sell. And there's only seven minutes left, so, you know, this is an ideal situation. It's about to test the highs of the days right now. Um, and, you know, this is exactly what you're looking for. A nice 
speed. Breaking new highs. Push. Yeah. Boom. Going into the close. Up, up almost 30% now. 30% push in the last 30 minutes of the day. Boom. You Let's know, keep pushing. Is, Let's keep pushing. It's so ideal for, you know, a, a small account especially and to be able to grow. A big thing about it, this is about being comfortable. Whatever you're comfortable with is key. If position size, we were comfortable with that half sell there because of the bag that we liked, the push that we got. And look at this. And good thing we only sold half because we get a full push the next time yeah. going into the next morning. Yeah. And then now this is the next day. Yeah, and so, we actually put the sell in right away. Yeah, it, so what happened was it got a really big gap. We didn't really, uh, we couldn't really see here, but it got all the way to 159. And um, that's a almost 50% gap. Yeah. On top of the 30% move. Yeah, where else are close, we looking so. for that? Where else can we find that? It's amazing. We weren't asking for any more at that point. We got a big bag already secured. It's it's done more than what we needed. Yeah. At this point, you guys can't let greed step into factor. We just take the bag, and that's just what's going on right now. It's a sell limit that's below the bid and ask. Yeah, so we're we just trying to get out. We just put it below no matter what. It was in before the market opened. Yeah. Um, and this is actually one minute into the market. This limit was done at 9.29, so we actually... We were pleased with the gap up. It went more than planned, so that's what we did. I think yeah. we did get some filled. Yeah, it gave us about filled. half, almost half filled now. Yeah. It's filling us on the way down slowly. Um, we did get most of it, not most of it, but we get a, some of it at the top. Then it starts to slowly trickle down and give us the rest of it as it's coming down. Yeah, ideally, in a perfect world, we would have got filled up near the top. Still above yesterday. Still, Boom. It's still Bam. 11% nice. on top of the 30% push before. So that's it. That's amazing. 40% total. So that half sell was actually like 60% um, overnight. And the half, the half sell before the close was um, 23%. So look yeah. at this. And then check this out. Yeah. <laughs> look where it goes. Yeah. So it actually it held the breakout, as you can see, the next morning. And it actually Maybe. continued. So those are our buys and sells. But... As you can see, the next yeah. day, it was a it, it, it was a super nice continuation there after double did that double bottom at one, which was the 52 week high. But uh, thanks guys. So that was you know our quick trade recap of the trade we made on what was that Friday to Monday. Uh, if we you guys like what we got going on, check us out. You can subscribe to our YouTube YouTube channel. Sorry. Also, this is our website. You can check us out there at www.thestocksnipers.com.